Good morning, guys, and welcome to Huey's Kitchen. Look at this beautiful board that my friend gave me for my birthday. How beautiful is it? Today we'll be making sugar cookies. Sugar cookies is the most yummiest cookies you can ever have. And with Ramadan finishing up soon and it's going to be Eid, we're going to make some for my beautiful family in Melbourne to take with me. So if you want to learn the process, join us. So if you have one of these beautiful machines, that's what I'm going to be making it in. It's called a Thermomix. If you don't have one, why not? Go get one. It's the best thing, invention ever. But if you don't, no problem. If you've got a KitchenAid, um, even you can do it by hand, no problem. But um, I'll guide you step by step. I'm using my machine. And stand by. Okay, now that our dough is mixed, uh, we're going to put it in glad wrap and let it rest for a good two to three hours before we roll it out. Um, the good thing about this machine, you can put everything in it and then just whiz it up. And it um, comes out like this. Now I'm going to pour it into my glad wrap that I have prepared. And put it in the fridge for three to four hours. So if you have a Thermomix, the recipe is on Cookie Do. If you don't, I'll post the recipe up un under comments. Um, that's my recipe I used in my business for a very long time, 20 years. Um, I used to sell them to all my get clients. Um, and now I'm showing you how to make them my way. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make um, a cookie template if you don't have a cookie cutter. And then I'm going to show you how to roll it out, bake it. Um, you can either use royal icing or fondant. I prefer fondant because it's quicker. I don't have to wait for it to dry. And it tastes better than royal icing. So I'm going to do it with fondant. And stay tuned for the end results. So while the dough is in the fridge um, for two hours or three, um, I'm going to show you how um, I do templates. So today I got an image on my phone that I liked and I traced it on just baking paper and then I'm going to trace it on cardboard and I'm going to cut it out and that's going to be my template for my cookie dough and I'm going to cut my cookie dough in that shape and then uh, the decoration I'll show you as I go. I've gone ahead and cut out um, out of cardboard my template for my cookie dough and this is the shape I'm looking for and in the middle I'm going to put the words Aid and um, I'm going to roll out my fondant and then I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to show you how to transfer um, writing using edible markers onto your fondant so i've just bought some bakehouse uh, white fondant and i'm gonna roll it out using my rolling pin I only want it about one centimetre thick, one, one inch I think, or one centimetre of a thickness. And then you're going to use the template to cut it. Using a good sharp knife, you're going to cut it around the template you made.
So it's made in that up by pressing in the edges. So that's the shape I was after. And then I'm going to transfer the word Eid onto it once the fondant is dry. If you do have cookie cutters, you can use any shape you want um, to make cookies. So I might do some square and some round ones. Round, re roll my fondant. So, re roll your fondant and cut more, some more shapes. So, maybe just a plain circle, cut squares. And then the square can be a diamond. Or you can leave it as a square. So if you have these impression letters where you press into, you can use them to make messages using your letter press, or you can use edible markers. So I'm gonna do a bit of both to show you um, the two different techniques you can use. So if you're gonna use these. Um, letters the fondant has to be soft for it to be impressed in to the fondant if you're going to use edible markers your fondant has to be dry so you're not when you're writing on the fondant you're not actually denting it you're just writing on it so you place your plastic letters into your fondant and you press in to get um, the word you want so I've got eight here the word eight just carefully pull it out so you're not actually ruining and that's how it looks after you've pressed the letters in it make sure you don't ruin the shape because this is going on your cookie Another thing you can do, you can use the same cookie cutter to make maybe indent a moon shape. So then you have the moon to resemble Eid. And then we're going to write the word Eid in here. So you can use this tool to do some impression into the moon. Don't press too hard because you're not actually cutting a fondant, you're just putting an impression. So with a non-toxic pencil, we're going to trace the word Daid onto our fondant disc and then we're going to go over it with the edible marker. So that's how it looks once I've uh, traced over it. I don't know if you can see it up close, the mark where the word is. And now I'm going to go over it in my edible marker. So that's how it looks once you've gone over it with your edible marker. It's best to wait till your fondant is dry. Mine was still a little bit soft, so you can see a little bit of indentations in it. But I'll go over it again once it's dry um, to make it look more um, reasonable looking. So that's another one I've done. I've incorporated the word aid in Arabic and English together to get this look. So these are the designs I chose using edible markers and using a bit of water to make a um, water paint look. So if you want to do something like this so I suggest go on Google get a template trace it and then use your edible markers to get these designs so roll out your dough once it's been resting into one inch thickness 
this. Then get your chosen cookie cutters. Cut your desired shapes. So once they're all cut, place them in the fridge for a good half an hour before putting them in the oven till golden brown. Once your cookies are baked uh, with a bit of jam on each cookie to put your front to stick your front and disc. So once you've put jam on each of your cookies, put your fondant disc on there. That's your finishing result. These are ready to be wrapped and put a ribbon on them and then you give them out to your guests on your Thanks for watching.